Hello and welcome to Lockburn Park for the quarter-final stage, the first knockout round of the Lowland League Cup. It's BSC Glasgow against East Kilbride. Billy Ogilvy and Ian King chat away in preparation for the hallmarks of a classic cup contest. History between these two sides and a bit of rival as well. The management team and some former players of East Kilbride moved to BSC Glasgow at the start of the season. And it has been a bit of a battle royale. Last time these two sides played each other in the league, back in January, it was a feisty affair. Aaron Murdoch got a red card for BSC. As East Kilbride ran out comfortable winners, and they're looking towards the threat of the prowess of Captain Ja Victoria up front. The, the delivery of likes of Martin McBride will cause a threat to very attacking minded BSC Glasgow, also very attacking minded. Likes of Tony Wallace and Ross McKenna up front do cause problems in this league and have been part of the resurgence in the second half of the season for BSC Glasgow. And it will definitely be a very exciting game here at Logburn Park. It's been left for the Monday night action this and the nights are getting out. The sun is out as well. It's a decent night for football. And a decent crowd as well for this Monday night fixture. BC Glasgow as ever will be in the yellow strips. Referee just getting all the pre-game procedures out of the way. Jean Victoria has been some figure for East Kilbride and he and his teammate in Brady gets us going and Victoria already trying to get into the mix there on with a shot. Punts up long by uh, BSC, Brady, strong chance coming from David Cameron, it's a bit of a scrap, but it is one, totally making the run, but out right to McBride, oh McKenna's lost it, Victoria scores! 25th minute on the clock and Ja Victoria, who else is going to score, but picked up and profited from Jordan McKenna's mistake. And it's first blood in this big quarter-final contest to the visiting side, East Kilbride, who won in the last league encounter so convincingly are in front today in this cup contest. Good turn here by Cameron. And Malone was wanting a cleaner shot. McLeish. That's up over the top for McBride. McBride! Come to one up for Ian Stewart. A decent corner in just over the bar there. And that is half time. And East Kilbride have the better of the chances. Hannah have the goal as well. Jao Victoria, the captain, fantastic. With the finish from mistake from Jordan McKechnie in the defence. But slacking it away. And it is EK with the lead at the break. And it is BSC to get us going. Uh, going from left to right in the second half. And trying to get going straight away with Graham charging down that wing. Shadow by Call. It was sent off a couple of weeks ago in the leg. And it's Embry University. And it's a goal kick. Pumped up long towards McBride. Decided to go for the shot himself, he couldn't tee up McLaughlin. Corner kick. Corner whip 10. Well, it's Morris with the header, but uh, easy into Stewart's hands. McKinnon floats it out to McKechnie. Oh, and the goalkeeper has to make the save. It's scuffed away. It comes all the way across for Bronski. David Cameron in the mix as well. Goalkeeper does the job. Uh, arguments in the East Kilbride defence. It's quickly taken to McBride. Been left. Oh, it's off the bar there. And completely confused Ian Stewart. Trying to go around in the support in the box. Victoria's there. 
And it's a wee way by McLeish. McKinnon's delivery for BSC. It's a bit scrappy from Gordon. Comes to Wallace. Slices it away. Right, trying to link up and it's now played forward and on the chase is Craig Hastings and doing well Craig Hastings could have finished it off always makes an impact does Craig Hastings and that was a good chance to make it to it's a hitting battle BSC still looking for the equaliser trying to turn there is Johnson and away it goes Johnson good delivery in the centre of the area it's not much in that for Gordon easy for him to collect one throw there oh and it's not far away that blown by McBride header away again it's at the wrong part of the pitch for BSE but Coming through is Hastings. Still Hastings trying to tee it up. Giblin couldn't finish it off. Good stop though. But surely it's a corner and noses the referee. Long way it's been left by everyone. But Gordon collects. I'm sure maybe Morris had it under co control leaving that. That pie again it is definitely route one stuff in this late stage. It's Flung back away again, and there is the final whistle. Handshakes from the players, but it is East Kilbride who have done it. They're through to the semi finals in the Cup Kings, in the way Ian King and Craig Young had success with East Kilbride last season, winning silverware, have been put out by Yiki, Billy Ogilvy, and Ross Wilson have came to Lockburn Park. And they've won the game. The solitary goal by Jao Victoria has done the job. 1-0 on the night. East Kilbride are through to the semi-finals. Now since our coverage of the game on Monday evening, there has been a change to the score lines. The Albedi Star winning against Vale, then Gretna winning against Galfield Green Rovers, and we know the result from Monday evening. But Spartans winning against Preston Athletic, four goals to nil. That should have been the game where East Kilbride would have been at home to but Spartans have fielded an ineligible player. Uh, the unsigned goalkeeping coach Mark Cairns was named as a substitute on Saturday as a trialist, but it was unaware uh, through a statement from Craig Graham from uh, Spartans FC saying that they weren't aware that trialists couldn't play in the competition. So unfortunately for them, they've been thrown out and pressed with Athletic have a reprieve and they will be at Cape Park as East Kilbride on Saturday. So that is the change from the initial results. Do join us for the highlights from Saturday's game next time on EKFC TV.